Hello, adventurers, and welcome to Roll for Bluff. I am Sam, your host. I play Calmine, the Tiefling Rogue Warlock, on our Bards and Nobles campaign. To my right, we have Tristan, who plays Soren, our Goliath Barbarian. To my far left, we have Brandon, who is our Dungeon Master. He plays everybody else. And sitting next to me is one of our newest adventurers. This is Chris, and he is going to be playing Solomon, our Shifter Cleric. Yes. And they will be joining me today as my co-hosts, as well as my charmed compatriots, in tonight's episode, <laughs> The Shifter and the Slave. Ooh, Ooh! What does that mean? So, as we ended last episode, uh, Leon and Cal were heading back towards Sprout's little hideout uh, to try to see if Azazel had worked his magic. And sure enough, they arrived, and Sprout's legs worked again. It and was... Like, it was like magic or it something like, like magic that. Or something happened. <laughs> it was great. It's almost as if a demon has enough power to do that. I'm still, I still have expected him just to have like a pile of gnome bones sitting at the bottom. They're like, there's oh, your gnome God. bones. He's not an. He's not evil. Well, no, it's just you mm-hmm. know, it's one of those things where, especially with you, phrase your things carefully. And yeah. Says, and Cal has like he needs new leg bones. Intention is also important. Yes. The intention was to fix his leg, not give bones. Right. I'm just saying. You Azazel isn't going to try and ruin Cal. Thankfully. Not yet. Not yet. You are one of his, pa- or he is your patron, so kind of want you around. Good. Good, because now we can go to the Warlock games, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, we figured out that Sprout's legs worked. Um, so as Leon and Cal were out, uh, Sorn and Liren were back at Hakar's place, mm-hmm. and there came a knock on the door. It was more like a... Yeah, something <laughs> like that. They was knocking at the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the clip. <laughs> thus came the arrival... Of Solomon, the shifter cleric. Last name uh, Grundy. No. <laughs> no last name, actually. And uh, I learned that in developing the character. So, um, yeah, so Solomon is uh, a character that I'm super excited uh, to play and uh, really to just kind of dive into. Um, so far, with uh, the few one shots that I've done and. Even uh, Sammy's offline campaign, um, Mythos and Mayhem. Um, uh, I've I've kind of like devoted a lot of time to the personality of each of the characters that I play. Um, but with Solomon, I, I I just knew that I wanted to play kind of like a a lithe kind of like monkey-like creature, and so um, I got to learn about shifters. Yeah. Because they were going to be the closest thing to give you a monkey person. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> For now. super laid-back version of them. <laughs> yep. So Solomon showed up, and you came to Hakar's place in search of something. Yes. Yes. Um, I had actually I had been directed there by my cleric brothers, um... And uh, I was sent there to obtain a very special weapon, the Mace of Twilight. Woo! Um, now this weapon, was was this one that you yes, created? Yes, I totally homemade this. It's homebrewed all the way through and through. That's so Does exciting. the Mace ask you about Edward or Jacob? Get, Get out. out. <laughs> I'm not going to deal with it this entire campaign. <laughs> yes, you are! No, I am not. As your DM, I will let you know. So So many jokes will have so many repercussions. (laughs) For those that don't know, um, the Twilight Domain is uh, brand new to... Unearthed Arcana. Yeah. So it is being playtested, and I thought, why not let a player playtest it on the show? Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Why not? Talk talk about diving right in. I mean, and and it comes with so many cool features and cool, unique spells that are totally unique to this domain so uh yeah i got to try a few out tonight and uh, but we'll get to that yeah so um you went there and you talked with the car about this mace and at first they were like oh what mace what the, mace do you do do the one thing i don't yeah. understand <laughs> there are many maces but then you, you, you eventually figured it out and um 
as you were handed this mace. After Greg was like, oh, Greg man. was like, oh, yeah, the mace that I've been carrying. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, it's my favorite thing. You kind of connected with it and had a connection with your god. Yeah. Instantly attuned. Yeah. yeah. It could cool. only be attuned to a cleric of the twilight. Yeah. yeah. Go figure. Right. Ooh, weird. <laughs> Mace of the twilight. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it can be attuned by a barbarian. Mm. Of the twilight. Storm you can Herald. certainly try. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and try. Don't Storm take my mace, man. <laughs> Trade weapons for okay. <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's my, here's my hammer. Good luck. Thor might not like you. Hey, mace. Hey, Mace. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> you, you would you would hate that as a DM. Oh, I would hate that. I would be like, your gods are not happy with you. <laughs> Cal would be like, this should be interesting. Switch back right now. <laughs> but that was like a cool open vision kind of thing uh, yeah. where I was in the presence of Pelor, just the shimmering, just... God of the sun and order. Yeah. Law. <laughs> and uh, And then there was a more mysterious figure that was kind of like... Uh, like a amorphous kind of yeah, it figures shrouded in the colors of twilight. Yes, yeah. So you can you can picture like oranges and purples and, and pinks and blues and all the yellows. colors of a sunset. So it's like, um, so yeah, had this really awesome encounter and uh, Pilor basically uh, told me about the mace and how this other figure was actually the mace the mace <laughs> em- embodied in this in this form and and actually someone that I can talk to and relate to so that was uh, that's different uh, you know I even had my character kind of be like I've never talked to a mace before <laughs> maces aren't normally a thing. <laughs> Now, Paylor did tell you that uh, we are the Stormbreakers and that you should yes. help us. Yeah. But also, don't go overboard being like, pay Lore or bust. Pay yeah. Lore or bust. That's true. <laughs> Reject the new guy. <laughs> Reject the new guy. Because right. yeah, being an all, all-powerful all deity, he knows that the Stormbreakers might not take that so well. <laughs> yeah, so they might should... not be super into another, someone and be like, your deity's wrong. Yeah, not Soren Thunder. Thunder. Yeah, Soren will, will take you on. <laughs> Soren's like, no, my deed is right. You're wrong. Fight me. Yeah. One on one me. <laughs> Let's go right now. Fist cuffs. Right. No armor, no magic, just punches. <laughs> Ooh. So after that, um, Cal and Leon came back, and you know, Cal was like gonna say, Oh, Sprout got his legs back, but then saw this new guy and was like, Oh, new guy. Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Introductions. <laughs> Introduction made, immediately Cal was like, I don't I, I, I guess, okay, I whatever. guess, okay. A lot of Great mispronouncing of my name. For Salmon. <laughs> Salmon. You can thank Hakar for that. Yeah. Good old Hakar. It's his accent. Um, his accent. And then shortly thereafter, there came uh, a knock on the door again. Mm. We're like, this is not good. This time. <laughs> it's like 4 a.m., what do yeah. you want with me? <laughs> it's like, well, we, we, played, we played it loose with the first visitor. We should probably hide. Yeah. So you... We tried. You tried. Mm-hmm. You did a smart move making the big guy invisible. But he rolled a nat 20 on perception until he smelled you. <laughs> he went, ah, oh, there's more people in this room. <laughs> now we so say who, was, that, who yeah, was. Who, who was this? The individual was Revel Scott. The Hobgoblin who runs the Black Skeleton <laughs> Gang. <laughs> Real nice guy. 10 out of 10. Yes, Would sure. Nice guy. Who apparently has a... Schnoz that can smell like no other. Natural twenties, man. They do wonders. So you know, of course, Cal was out there and he was, you know, smelling. He's like, somebody smells like demons, Cal. And I was like, well, all right, gigs up. Pulls off the ring. Um, eventually, tells you know everybody to come on out from hiding. You totally could have lied and tried to get your way. I out could of have, that. but remember, we had already wanted to set up a meeting with Rabiscon. So Cal was like, what's the point? Why lie? I, this is what we wanted, right? Was to talk to him. So here we are. Uh, yeah, we're talking to him on our terms, right, guys? Right, guys. <laughs> right. Um, so had everybody come out, and Cal kind of, you know, was like, "So let's let's talk instead of you know you just annihilate. killing us all in an instant. You know, let's try to beat us out normally." Yeah, I was like this close to just like immediately casting darkness, but I didn't do it for. Couple reasons. Just nobody can reasons. see. Yeah, so oh, nobody can. can see except can. me. <laughs> um, and Does, also, I wasn't yeah. sure if. Does oh, that work in magical darkness yep. too? His oh, twilight man. vision it's gives him magical and non magical oh, 100. Wow. Yeah. For infinite range. 
Well, I can. It, it, well, that was you the can thing. Give I was, to somebody. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't do it. It was. You for easily the best. could have been like, I can say no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was for the best. So, um, Ravis Gunn surprisingly agreed. Um, oh, he's a to play he, fair. He's a he's a fair play. He was like, everyone come out. <laughs> um, and eventually they came to an agreement of, you know. Where Leon kind of offered himself up as like, hey, you know, I, I'm the one who owes you this debt after killing my former master. Let me work for you to make it up to you. And the other hard group was like, uh... No, don't no, do that. No, no, no. And he was like, too late, I'm already agreeing. And Cal was like, okay. It's your life, man. Your yeah. life, bub. I was surprised that none of the other Stormbreakers, like, spoke up, like... I, I wasn't going to say anything because I'm, like, brand new, but... Like, I mean, to them, Leon has always been on, like, the outsider, but also everyone, I'm assuming, realized that if he takes this deal, we're scot-free. We're not going to be hunted in this city. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was part of it. And then, like, for Cal, Cal's also the kind that's like, all right, it's your I've, life. I've made tons of stupid deals. I can't stab you. Yeah. Soren had made a promise to say as quiet as possible for the most part. <laughs> I'll be quiet. Oh my god, please don't say anything, Soren. <laughs> you're ugly and you're dead. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's honestly going to be one of those things. Soren is aware that he doesn't really have a filter. So instead of, like, you know, screaming rage and then, like, I'm going to kill you all. Don't you take my lay on. <laughs> like, this oh, yeah. will not end well. <laughs> yeah. Smart. <laughs> but then Raviscon was like, all right, well, now you got to fight these guys. Because I need to prove that you're even worthy enough to uh, survive here in the city. Because he also agreed that if you come back, if he has a job, you'll do it. If you come back to Selvin. But <laughs> before we got that far, Raviscon had somebody else with him. A couple other people. Yeah, two people. Jakob, a Kanku barbarian. And the other one was Morena, who was an aquatic half-elf. Individual. individual. No individual. one really knows what she is yet. Um, and while she was in there, um, being played by Nancy, um, our she, other second, our newest. Yeah, Nancy. She actually noticed in a pile of short swords, like a nat twenty, that there was a short sword that was calling out to her psychically. Yes. The only one that she could see. Only though. one that <sighs> she could see, and so she. Went and she grabbed it and she attuned to it and, and it became turned it a ring, ring on her hand. Yeah. A lot of talking um, weapons in this. Episode. And as she did that, she sent a telepathic link to Cal and said, "Hey, can you help me? I'm a slave. Can you? I don't want to be here with him anymore." And Cal was like, "Okay." So the deal had started out. With, from Raviscon, he was like, I'll tell you what, if you lose, we're, you're going to fight to the death, and if you lose, you die, and I get Leon. If you win, I get Leon, and you guys get to keep your lives. And Cal was like, okay, but if we win, we get her. Mm. So. We also want slave. <laughs> and it was like, interesting. Yeah. I'll consider it if she doesn't use magic. Uh. <laughs> And then we rolled initiative. <laughs> you rolled initiative because it was like, there's six wow. people. She was like, there's six people outside. Watch out. Yeah. You're lucky Jakob didn't join. Mm. And he was told not to. <laughs> a barbarian versus a barbarian. Mm. <laughs> 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 Who has higher health? <laughs> <laughs> and um, fortunately, um, even though Nancy couldn't use her magic, she was able to use that sword she had found. <laughs> which was like, where'd you get that sword? sword we're blindsided <laughs> by. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, and, you know, the team was able to take down the other guys. Except for Leon. He wasn't allowed Except to join. Except for Leon was not allowed to join. God, that would have been great for you guys. Two rogues. Yeah. Mm. Would have been nice. Yeah, but it's gone now. Alas. I'll have a sneak attack. Um, and, yeah, it went it went pretty well. You you took a lot of hits. I took most of the damage you, for you the You took party. a good majority of the damage. Yeah, imagine if you would have went down. Mm. No one even had, like, people have close to health to you, but... Not the same, you know, damage buff. I mean, close yeah. is even pushing it. Because, well, the next highest health is what? Liren, I think. Mm. Yeah. Liren would be the next highest. She's in the, what, the 80s? Yeah. Yeah. So, we would like, they would have just, they just started shooting and be like, ah! <laughs> yeah. 
It was like I forgot that I was a healer. <laughs> you did. Yeah. You um, did. You for sure did. I was thinking the entire time, like, oh, yeah, he's gonna probably going to heal. I was waiting for it, too. I was waiting for the cleric to be like, oh, hey, bro, you look this, hurt. Heal. And I'm like, this is going to end badly. <laughs> this encounter was made before I knew you were going to be a cleric. Mm-hmm. Before I knew there was going to be a sorcerer in there. Mm. So I was able to limit that magic. I could not, I could not limit you. But you didn't do any magic. So I was like, oh, that worked out. Yeah. I somehow made this hard encounter still hard through sheer dumb luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's a lot of spells, first of all. Level um, 9, Cleric. A lot of spells. <laughs> it's a lot of spells. And there were spells that... Spells that necessarily weren't, like, heavy hitters. Right. Um, and I knew that this brand new mace that I had could deal some damage, mm-hmm. so um, so I shifted into Me. my my beast Monkey form, farm. and uh, and I went beast mode. Um, God damn it. <laughs> but um, yeah, and so I just started whacking people. But um, I did eventually get to some healing. Mm-hmm. Um, you did a healing word. Yeah, bonus action instead of your cure wounds. Or your mask cure wounds. That's true. That, that is <laughs> you could have cured true. everyone on the battlefield if you wanted, but... <laughs> it's a lot of spells. It's a lot of spells. Yeah. Welcome to being a, a, yep. a cleric. You got time, though. Yeah, you'll learn yeah. it. And uh, technically, here soon, you're going to be able to repick new spells. That's true. Yeah. Except That's the true. ones you always have to repair, but you'll be able to pick 14 new spells. Yep. Wow, sir. So, um, you know, we, we wound up winning that battle in Raviscon and uh, Jakob and Leon. They all sort of left in a huff and... Well, Leon didn't leave it. Leon didn't leave it. Leon was like, oh, "I'll be in touch." And Cal was like, "You bet." <laughs> and we'll be here. Um, afterwards, we went back inside with the car, kind of relaxed, uh, drank a little bit, smoked some sweet grass. Before we even did, uh, and then, uh, bing, and then it was you dawn. heard Don that you went. <sighs> yes. Hello. <laughs> I need dim lights. I got to. I got to introduce a few of the you party members. One party member in Hakar. <laughs> yes. You were like, "Good morning." And we're like, "Who are you talking to?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my mate. And we're like, "Wait." <laughs> yeah. Which put Cal and Soren instantly on edge. <laughs> so we're like, "Hold up." We're like, "Do I need to hit on. him?" <laughs> so I was like, "Just follow me into the back room <laughs> and pull." And on. Was like, you put us more that, on edge. That never goes well. Yeah. yeah. And the car was like, okay, I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill me. I'm bigger than you. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. Um, really true. And you were able to talk and you learned more about the mace and how yeah. it just wants, you know, balance and equality between mm. light and dark, which is the true striving goal of the Order of Twilight. That's right. So your goal is to maintain a balance. Good. And I introduced my hammer to it. <laughs> which <laughs> did not respond. <laughs> Your hammer is not sentient. I know it's not. And I, as a player, it just seemed like the right so thing to Sword's do. So Sword's sitting there like, Hammer, this is mace. And Cal was like... Did Sword just introduce his no, hammer to the kiss. mace? I'm going to come over there. <laughs> What's going on? So Cal walked over there, heard this mace, and was like, I need to stop swinging, just smoking sweet grass. And the car was like, that, that went off. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. Nope, never again. Greg was like, freeze, we grow. Right. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, after buying a couple items from a car, we, we did wind up um, leaving. Mm-hmm. Splitting the party. Well, first yeah. we went back to um, the crux of the matter. Yeah, you went to the Drawn Because we wanted to figure out, now that we didn't have Leon, um, if, if we, we still, still had to hold up the end of the bargain. Hold up the end of the bargain for, to help those refugees sneak into the city. Which, much to Cal and Liren's like, uh... <laughs> Why? The group voted three to two. Yeah. The two new people immediately outvoted the two ranking officials. I mean... Well, I okay, I understand... Uh, I keep on saying Moana. But <laughs> Mor- Morena. 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 She was a slave, so of course she wants to help refugees. Uh, Cleric's like, I gotta Cleric's help like, people. yeah, help people. Sword's yeah. gonna be like, I'm actually surprised Liren didn't be seeing that she's a lawful good. But she doesn't want to anger Raviscon. Yeah. There's there's Still, there's it, solid reasoning yeah. on both she, sides. She did both. agree with Cal's point, which was we just made this deal with Raviscon. And Can he can't know not? about it. Yes. So of course, and with Cal being like not stealthy, <laughs> Liren not stealthy, looks at you 
Probably <laughs> not. Heavy armor. Not Looks stealthy. at Morena. Maybe. <laughs> How does it? She's now your second highest stealth. I'm like, <clears throat> this is gonna be hard. Good luck, everybody. Cal doesn't like hard work. That's number two. We're so, going to die. <laughs> yeah, basically. So we wound up agreeing um, that we would help sneak the refugees in, and then we split the party. Yes. Um, because Always a good Ooh, idea. Because Cal was like, I need drink, drink, many, drink, many drink, drinks. drink, drink, and you guys were like. No drink. Uh, so it was drink, like, drink, I'm... drink at six in the morning. Like, so I was like, I'm gonna go visit Sprout. <laughs> I miss my buddy. Yeah. So yeah. you guys visited Sprout while we had a ladies' day. <laughs> so I had like this tempting, like, want to meet a small, friendly guy who just got his legs back full of joy. Uh, sure. Yeah. That sounds like fun. <laughs> it's guys' day and it's ladies' day. So do you guys want to talk about guys' day with Sprout? Well, we got back and they were like, "Who's who's the monkey guy?" And I was like, "Oh, he's cool. He's with me." Yeah. He, They're he's like, "All right, breaker now. <laughs> he's a stone breaker." And so we got down there and we saw Sprout, and sure enough, Sprout does in fact have his legs and Yay. he's all running around doing stuff. Um, <laughs> and we were like, "Yeah, this is Sprout. He's a fun guy because he's a you know a spores Spore, guy. circle of spores <laughs> druid." <laughs> and he's like, ha, 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 "I've heard that a thousand times from you and." <laughs> And then, like, then someone was like, well, then you could just be like, that's enough out of you. And, and then Ewan was like, oh, what have you done? <laughs> and Sprout was like, yes! You've <laughs> ruined me. <laughs> As usual with Tristan, the, the puns, puns are, it's, are just It's a foundation of so sore. ripe. <laughs> it is. Soren's made a lot of puns. Yes. Well, like, like, even one of, some of our first play sessions, I got inspiration for making a pun. You did. Now when you make fun of people's names, though, that didn't give inspiration. Mm. You also made fun of Hakar's voice a lot. See, it was the problem, unintentional. Yeah, it was the most unintentional thing, and uh, it's one of those things where Brandon and I work together, and we have spent entire shifts just doing the same. Doing uh, the voice like a car, except a little more Russian, a little more sophisticated. And so it's one of those things where, at this point, because we've worked together for so long, we've done it so often, it's subconsciously I copy it when I hear you do it. Yeah, a car uses a slight. Um, the the uh, very different uh, variation of uh, a more uh, basic ration. Right, and so unintentional. Yeah. So impressive. <laughs> because with Sword's voice being a deeper tone for me, it's one it's of those things. Easier it, it's easier to transition into the ration. Right, so it almost just slides into it, and it's so unintentional. And I try so hard to not do it because at this table, what you say in character is what yes. you say. And it's right. so it's such a problem because we're like, yes, I am so on thunder feast that I am so on thunder feast. <laughs> you make fun of a car again, I kill you. <laughs> I am oh. not making fun. Crap! Stop it, voice. He's bad. And the cow just goes and goes like, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. You could have cast sleep on him at that point. He probably would have gone it's to sleep. True. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> I tried true. to I tried to defuse the situation by like being like, "Hey, you said we have a contract to sign." <laughs> yeah. so good call. Just, just like, oh, yeah, a contract. Because Cal was not defusing the situation. Cal was like, "Yeah, that's Making very it rude." So much sword. <laughs> Egg him on. <laughs> anyway, so while we were with Sprout, Sprout had turned me into a horse, and I was dancing around as a horse, and Sprout was doing flips and whatnot to get on the horse. Then he was like, "Hey." You want to be an animal? Yeah. You want to be a chimpanzee? And yeah. you were like, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So he was like, you got to say yes right now. Yeah. I Boom. Mean, <laughs> what else am I going to say? I mean, you say no. No. That is the other option. <laughs> yeah. We had to make a wisdom save, but yeah. no, <laughs> which for was, you would have been real easy. Yeah, you're like, no, no, no monkey. It was awesome being a chimpanzee. Even for the little few minutes that you yeah. were. Right, because then his brother came out and was like, stop it. <laughs> we got to do stuff. Oh, no, because then it was like, I can turn into animals too. And he was like, what do you want me to do? And I was like, well, your badger is cool. He's like, cool. Badger. So I get back in here and do, you got dishes to do now that your legs work. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Big brother, no. <laughs> the struggle. So right. then he was. Siblings. And, yeah, dishes. So eventually Sprout had to go do his dishes. So uh, we and, had a grand old time. Except for the guys. sad news that we found out mm. from Ewan. And Ewan had revealed what was in the letter from the postman. And that is Sprout is being. Uh, Fired. Being they're going, go. they're Being going downsized, in a different direction. We're going in a different direction. <laughs> An honorable discharge from the postman. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Sprout is too uh, weak. Inexperienced. Yep. Which Solomon doesn't know anything about. No. Solomon's just like, that sucks, buddy. <laughs> like, he got, that he got sounds a little, bad. He got a little education from you and about the postman. Right. That you're now, you know, 
kind of. You don't have a handler. <laughs> yeah. Max. We haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Wonder how he Which is. I did say, like someone's like, we haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's off continent. He's off where? He, he's yeah. he's gone. He left. You can leave the continent. <laughs> there are <laughs> other places. There is water outside of here. <laughs> what the hell? I know storms on the ocean exist, but I thought we were it. Wait, no the one's Earth is round. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> That's unpossible. The world is flat. Um, <laughs> Clearly. So yeah, you then decided to. Uh, Hang Spend around. some time and get some short rest and mm-hmm. heal up a bit. Yes. So you weren't so disheveled. Yes. Yeah. So what happened with the lady? We had a wonderful yeah. time. What happened? We had a wonderful time. We went to the bar and we talked to the goblin bartender who gave us some drinks. Name Garf. Garf. And Garf. Uh, Cal was like, uh, yeah, you seem like you're bad at math, so I'm going to haggle with you a little bit and lower these prices a little bit. Which someone was watching so clever. the entire time. Oh boy! Um, <laughs> I think mean, so, you, you didn't like ask him to like to just give you booze. Like, no, you were asking for a discount because you were ordering so much. Yes. Which you also didn't do like, a single perception check of the bar. No, I didn't. <laughs> which I was like, Cal, priority, num- <laughs> priority number one, drink. How could you be so bold? I know there was someone literally. She was going like hmm. <laughs> the entire time. So uh, we start drinking. Cal's ordering more drinks. And then the goblin brings up the princess special. Uh, the princess diaries? Princess drink. I don't know. Some princess, princess, princess drink. And then from the up princess above. Royale. Princess Royale. Princess Royale. There we go. God. And then from up above, we hear this voice. It's like, well, welcome to my bar. Which sounds an awful lot like Marshall. No, Marshall's a lot slower. Sounds an awful lot like Marshall. Uh, it's Marshall's it's, got it's molasses dripping yeah, out molasses. of his mouth. And Marshall's a lot slower. Whatever. Same voice. Dignified. It's Mrs. Marshall. It's not even close <laughs> to the same. One's higher pitch, a higher so, register. So, <laughs> so we looked southern up. southern bell. <laughs> and there was, <laughs> we looked up and there was a voluptuous elf. Voluptuous. Uh, uh, half elf. Half elf um, hanging upside down from the banister up above. Um, and uh, she kind of like. Floats down, I guess. Feather fall. No, um, no. And then she's like, "Make it a queen royale." And we're like, "I'm like, I don't know what that is, but I like it." Is that like a royal flush? Um, and then she was she was asking our names, which Cal was like, "I'm Laura," because I was disguised. As I'm a liar. Azazel's dead girlfriend. <laughs> Laura the liar. Um, and then. Marina and Liren tried to lie, but neither one of them did really good. They can't lie that well. They can't lie that well. Um, so, <laughs> They're not rogues. And then as we started drinking, she charmed, charmed us. and no, we she all... didn't charm you. The drink charmed us? Uh-oh. We'll get into that next time. Oh, great. Anyway, we Ooh. were charmed. Marina charmed you. We, we all failed our wisdom saves. Um, and then she started asking us, like, oh, why are you here? And you like, you know, Cal tried to lie. She's charmed, but Cal doesn't really, Cal would lie to her friend, so she I tried. I tried. <laughs> um, and then... I don't know how your girlfriend's soul got sent to hell. Right? <laughs> 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 so what soul? <laughs> um, and then um, she was asking about the postman, and Cal was like, Oh yeah, we know the postman. We worked with them. We 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 deliver letters, and they helped us fight Yangu. And then she was like, "Yangu, the Stormbreakers." Storm yeah, you literally. There are certain key phrases you're gonna be like. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Thunderfish Stormbreaker. To which Cal is like, "Yangu Stormbreaker." Yeah, because Cal is drunk and Cal is charmed. Like the worst of both worlds. Just that is, You also owe her two hundred. Oh yeah, we owe two hundred fifty gold. We played some cards and Which, the deck I didn't was... realize that, that that cost money. Otherwise I would have said no. Oh. She knows. Yeah. You are Maybe. in a place that Cal, if you weren't charmed, would be fine in. But you are charmed. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> so you are not fine. Yeah. Um mm. but you know, that's just uh that's the way that the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you get charmed. Okay, now by you're a pretty in... elf. Now you're in the den of a half elf. Yeah, that's all we know. That's it. And oh yeah, she shut down the bar and sent everybody else home. Question mark. 
So we will see what happens next time, which will be tomorrow night. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Chris, for joining us. Yes. And we welcome you yes. to the team. Thank you. Glad to have you aboard. Thank you. I can't wait to make you sad. <laughs> Life goals of a DM. Oh, God. <laughs> da, 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 da. Brandon. But thank you all so much for joining us. We yes. will see you guys tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. on twitch.tv slash dndrollcall. Have a good night.